welcome to another cook with me. And this time we are doing something way more fun than all the other times. Cooking with Jojo. Joanna Gaines, the person we all want to be. This is her first volume, the first cookbook. I have the second one over there because I just bought it. But we're going to go with the first one and I'm starting at night. It is almost 9 p.m. and we're going to make overnight French toast. Mmm, delicious. My husband doesn't go to work until 10.30 in the morning, so that means we need a special breakfast. Just kidding, he doesn't go to 10.30 until a lot of times because he works until 8. This is not a special day, but we're gonna make it a special day. So this is overnight French toast. I could have made my own bread and I didn't. I bought some at Walmart for $1. Best decision ever. So let's see what this says to do. First. The first thing is one tablespoon of butter. You didn't see me cut it, but I promise it's probably close to one tablespoon of butter. I gotta soften it. Try to make things more entertaining for you. <laughs> Shimmy a little. That brings joy to everyone. That's, that's not really softened. Couple more seconds. <laughs> Grease a 9 by 13 by 3 inch deep. It's not 3 inches deep, so it's fine. With 1 tablespoon of softened butter. Okay, doing it. I'm going to do it. Take a fork. Wow. So good at this. Alright. Then we're going to take our delicious French loaf. Mmm. Very excited to see if this is delicious, but everything she touches is gold. So I'm pretty sure it does. Look at how tiny this bread is. Little, okay, so here's bread. the thing. She said to overlap the bread. Um, I don't think she imagined that the bread slices would be this tiny. So, I mean, I'm going to overlap it. Look at that bread. Now that we have our bread all spread out nicely, let's get to stirring 45 and a half eggs. I'm just kidding. Let's see what she says. In a large bowl, lightly beat the eggs. How many eggs? Let's see. Ten. Ten eggs. Woo, baby. Baby girl, what's your name? Let me talk to you. Let me buy you some eggs. Okay. Look at them. Mmm, delicious. Let's see how much cream. Two cups. Two cups going in the green bowl. How am I gonna know a cup of milk? Spoiler alert, it's a cup of milk. Milk, this mixture is just coming along swimmingly. Sugar, granulated sugar, and it's in the same container as my brown sugar. And now we got two teaspoons of vanilla. Okay. Let's whisk this in. Mmm, can you smell it? Time to pour it over our sweet little French bread. This is so much. There you have it, guys. Yay! All right, so now I'm gonna cover this and refrigerate it overnight. And I will see you in the morning for the next step. Good morning. I just took the French toast out. I gotta wait 30 minutes until I can bake it. And I have to make a few other things to go with it. I'm gonna set this to 375. And I just had to move a rack to the upper third to bake this. Okay, so we have to make this stuff that goes on top while I'm waiting. So it's just brown sugar, flour, brown sugar container, and I believe salt. Now her recipe does call for pecans, but I do not have any. I'm trying very hard to follow the recipe and do what she says, but I also don't have that, so I can't do that. One whole cup of brown sugar, half cup of flour. Look at my flour container. It's not a Ziploc. <laughs> 
impressed with myself. This is a fourth cup. I do two of those, obviously. Then I believe it just calls for a pinch of salt. Pinch of salt. Perfect. One stick of salted butter. Got my one stick of salted butter, but here's the kicker. I'm supposed to grate it. Well, I will say this is a lot easier to grate than cheese, obviously. Okay, so this mixture is all mixed up, and it just says to sprinkle this on top. Joseph is down here, Jensen is down here. We're all ready. <laughs> all right, see you when it's done. There you have it. It looks a little burnt in the camera for some reason, but it is not in real life. Yum, ready to eat. <laughs> Tonight, we are gonna make chicken and dumplings. Pretty excited about that. In the instructions, it says, use the rotisserie chicken. That would make my life way easier, except I don't have one. So we're just gonna put some chicken in the tiny crock pot and use that as shredded chicken. So I'm gonna do that real quick, and then you'll see me when we're ready to finish dinner. day but another recipe I decided the next thing I would make would be banana pudding I've tried lots of recipes I have a favorite and I'm gonna see if this one compares but first before we start anything we got to make the whipped cream so I'm gonna whip that up <laughs> I'm gonna whip the whipped cream up <laughs> Done, ready to be put on some banana pudding. Chicken is still cooking back there. We are ready for banana pudding. Okay, so we're gonna need a block of cream cheese now. Also, I realize that you guys don't normally see this side of the kitchen. So, this is the other side of the kitchen. Why am I struggling? Ugh. Okay, we need a block of cream cheese. Room temperature to be exact. So we're gonna put our block of cream cheese in here, if I can get it out. Oh, why is it so difficult? Be right back. Now that the cream cheese is in, let's plug in our mixer. Yay. What a fun thing to watch. We just gotta, let's see. We gotta just blend this. I didn't wanna get my KitchenAid out, so this is what we're using. Wow. Okay. Cream cheesy. Add the condensed milk, a can of Sweetened condensed milk. We healthy up in here. Joanna Gaines said to make it, so I made it. Still going. You know, I could like, once again, this would be like a good spatula moment, you know? All right, and then we need a cup of whole milk. Whole cup of whole milk. A vanilla pudding mix. Mmm, yum. Gonna dump this bad boy in. I would like to know, aren't banana pudding recipes pretty similar? I know I said earlier I have a favorite one, because I do, but it's because it use, uses those Chessman cookies instead of vanilla wafers. So, not saying I'm fancy, but like, here's my mixing bowls. You be the judge. <laughs> Mistakes were made. <laughs> oh my gosh, seriously? I use a bigger bowl. Crisis averted. I just used the larger bowl that I did the whipped cream in. Getting text messages. Okay, we're back. Now it says to put in about half of the whipped cream. Yum. Oh my gosh, this looks delicious. I'm making this before dinner so that it can be ready after dinner. All right. See you in a second on the other side of the kitchen. Yay, the other side of the kitchen. This says, be fancy and own a trifle bowl. And I said, don't have one of those. Got some vanilla wafers. If you would like to know if I do not like vanilla wafers, I love the cookie. 
I really hate the word. Here's the thing. It says to cover the whole bottom of this. Uh, so like, we gotta do it. But this is real big. So um, let's just see how it goes. It's fine, it's not a big deal. Also, these smell amazing. I am incredibly hungry right now. Look at the beautiness of a layer of cookies. What's next? So I think I just have to layer this a bunch, but here's the thing, because of how this is, I'm not sure how well it's going to layer. So we just gonna try our best. We're gonna make a banana pudding, how mama knows how to make a banana pudding, you know? We're gonna screw it up already. So I'm gonna do my own thing. I'm gonna go my own way. What about us? Sorry, Jojo. It's not about us anymore. What about everything we've been through? What about trust? No, I never wanted to hurt you. Sorry, I never wanted to hurt you, Jojo. All right, good enough. I'm gonna go wash my hands. I'm gonna put the bananas down and be right back. Actually, I'm just gonna do some layers. I'm gonna do bananas, more banana pudding, all of that. I'll come back when it's the last layer. Okay, now to put the rest of the whipped cream on top. Whipped cream, whipped cream. What do you guys say? I'm just gonna smear it on, make it beautiful. Then I'm gonna put it in the fridge and we gonna eat it tonight. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is a lot of banana pudding um, for just Joseph and I. That's fine. You like banana pudding? Delicious. Okay, friends, there you have it. The delicious, the yummy, the oh so beautifully done. Banana pudding. Yes. Okay, we are now ready. The chicken is back there. You saw it. It's all cut up and ready to go. So we are gonna start our chicken and dumplings. What are we gonna do first? Open some chicken broth. So this recipe is quite large and it's just Joseph and I. So I'm gonna half it. But I'm going to try my best to follow the recipe like I've been saying. So I'm gonna use a box and a half of chicken broth because it calls for 532 pounds of chicken broth as an estimate. My shirt is covered in stuff because mom life. We're gonna get this going over medium heat. Yeah, bring broth to a boil. While that's boiling up a, a bit, oh my gosh, I'm literally covered in stuff. Let's get our biscuits, we got some Flaky jumbo biscuits. We're gonna get our flour. I'm not measuring this flour because come on, I don't need to. It's really just to get the surface good. Do I feel nervous about opening this? Yes, I do. First try. Be impressed with me. We're gonna put our little biscuit boys out like that. Beautiful. We're gonna get this coming to a boil. So we're gonna cut our biscuits. For this chicken and dumplings recipe, she said herself that you could make your own biscuits or use a can of biscuits. All right, I cut all of these off camera because so I'm gonna reduce this down to simmer because it's boiling. And then I was going to scrape these off like she said, but I just have a feeling that that's gonna be a poor decision. I'm gonna put all my dumplings in. So I'm gonna get all these dumplings in here with excess flour as she said. Once these are all in here, I'm gonna grab my chicken. This is very easy and I'm living for it. Wow. Okay, she said lots of flour. Put all those bad boys in there. Then we're gonna get our half and half. One cup, so half a cup. Half a cup to go with our half recipe. Pour that half and half in. Get our two cups of chicken. Woo! -hoo. Stir it in. Why not use this knife? And then we're gonna do some salt and pepper. She said to use a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of pepper. All right, cook for 20 minutes. See you then. And we are ready to eat. This looks and smells so amazing. Oh my goodness, look at all that steam. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed me cooking a few recipes from the cookbook. Let me know down below anything else you'd like me to cook and if you have some fun ideas. See you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.